Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Loop Hero Act 4 with the Warrior. We are going to give it another attempt here. Uh, I've been informed by it, quite like a handful of people that in order to beat Act 4 with these characters, it's not like required to do grinding. You can definitely with really good setups and like if you want to min-max it to everything to the extreme, you can do it early, uh, but it for it to be like a little bit more doable we have like a lot of grinding ahead of us which is probably not something i really think i will uh be doing too much but let's give it another attempt today i i think that it's i think it's possible despite being told that it might be in our best interest to uh, to grind more beforehand i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna do that <laughs> so <laughs> with that in mind Let's let's just do our best here. Uh, we'll give it a couple more tries before we uh, we we sail the series out into the sunset. So the ancestral crypt. I, I this is since this is Act Four. We like really want to make sure we get this down in probably this spot or this spot. The question is which. We do have the blood grove. Uh, does it really matter which? Uh, we'll probably want to sail the river through here either either this way or this way so i suppose with that in mind we'll put the ancestral crypt right there uh this being uh, in mind i also gotta say I, I forgot to mention that i did upgrade in between videos i uh ooh. oh i hate that we gotta we, we gotta actually think about this right now oh shoot there's apparently you know what i gotta I, there, i'll bring it up i'll i'll, I'll go find it wow look at the, look at what that does to the text when i tab out oh my god that's uh that's not <laughs> it's not great uh anyways I, i'm pulling out a a little picture that i can use here thanks credit to justice tom for bringing it to my attention wonderful mod boy thank you we can uh we can put this down let's see if it's gonna go up there so we're gonna start it actually apparently one two three we're gonna apparently start it right here you know uh the math has been done do not get mad at me if 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 this looks bad if it uh i see the math and it does not seem to be incorrect from what i can tell this this truly strikes me as a very very good way of doing this however okay we want to make sure that we um put down the the blood grove and stuff here so we, we will put down the forest and everything up there, the thickets, the thickets and what have you. Uh, in fact, only the thickets, I, I believe, is probably the correct way of doing it. So if we're going to be, it's going to be getting let out, like, uh, in the end right here, which actually works really, really well because it can come out, out and up over there. Uh, with that in mind, I guess I will start building these here. And we're, we're apparently going to hold on to all of our forests. This is the part that is a little... Feels a little weird to me, for sure. Apparently, that is the thing we're going to want to do, is just straight up hold on to the forest. All right, so we're going to be running like this. So in that case, we theoretically can put down our ruins, and it's not a problem. It might be a problem to whatever is coming beforehand, but... Eh. Uh, cemetery here? Cemetery here! Good stuff. Uh, because we want to get as many souls as possible. Of course, that, that much is indeed a fact. Uh, regardless of what we, uh, whatever we do here. So we have an outpost. This much, uh, I know I want to put there. The blood grove being there is a bit of a bummer, but if we don't put it there, then we're gonna have to deal with... God, this really hurts my my heart. Not putting down all these forests, but it makes sense. They're not a they're not a two bopper. Okay, getting an oblivion that early is really nice because we actually could use that against the uh, the lich's stuff that he puts down. That would actually be certainly an option. Certainly an option indeed. Regen or evasion. Regen or evasion. Take a bit of regen. Uh, there should be no real issues here for a. For a while, right? I don't know what we would have as a as a problem, but we're just putting down our rivers, getting them all set up, putting down some suburbs, getting them all set up. Uh, we don't even have a level two piece of equipment yet, regardless. So, 
no real need to worry about anything. My my biggest worry right now is we get to a spot where we don't don't actually get to use our oblivion. Oh my god, we're getting only forests with the one percent, and we put that. I, I wow, I really wish we had our thicket over there. Whatever, whatever, we'll be all right. Okay, so this goes like this, then apparently goes right down here. I'll take the word for it. I. I'm regretting this. I'll say that for sure. I wish we put down a vill village. Bloodgrove ruins. Wait, no. Yeah, village. Bloodgrove ruins. I think that would have been better. Uh, we could change it still. Because then we could have put the outpost here. Do we want to do that? I mean, it's it's... No, it, 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 it would require way too much. Uh, but yeah, are we truly done with our... I think we're done with our outposts already, pretty much. Which is kind of funny. Like, I don't even know if it's worth bringing the card, but I feel like uh, when you have the bookery in your deck, there's a lot more you can get away with. We finally got a thicket. Okay, so... One, two, three, four. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, as soon as we get the bookery, we should be, uh, we should be sailing. We should be truly, truly sailing. Uh, the blacksmith. Where are we going to end up putting that? Wow. Okay, just a whole bunch of level 1 stuff, and then boom, all of a sudden we get that level 3 finally. Uh, but yeah, the reason I'm super cool with having the, the skeletons here... Oh my god. Max HP, 296 magic damage defense. I mean, I have no problem with any of that stuff there. No problem whatsoever. But we have all of those helpers right sitting right there. Uh, so we want another one right here. So the, the reason this is so good is because we are going to be looping this around right like here. All the way down staircase. Uh, loop up. This is not going to work. I just realized this. there's no, this, there's no room for this. One, two, three, four, five. There's no room for this. What the hell? There's no room for this! What? <laughs> well, I guess, wait. If I run my river up here, there is, but then... Wait. We can run the river along parallel now, right? 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 We better be able to run the river along parallel. We will have to deal with whatever the penalty of, uh, of that is. Okay, cemetery. Do we want to have it super close here? Uh... Yes. I will deal with it. Because we want it really close to the cozy camp. One, because uh, it'll stop the liches stuff. Two, we get the assistance of, uh, of the home base. Which is a pretty, pretty important benefit, if you ask me. A uh, pretty important benefit indeed. There's our suburbs. I'm actually pretty satisfied with this. Like, I've... <laughs> it's super banking on... Uh, okay, what do we got here? Bonus resurrection charge. Oh. Bonus damage for every potion used. Let's just do an extra resurrection. Why the hell not, right? Uh, we actually should probably build out this way so that we can maybe get a suburb right here. We could put down a, uh, an outpost there, but I just don't think I really want to lose that stuff. Okay, holy. Damage, damage to all attack speed. I mean, I'm cool with all that stuff. We're not going to hit any kind of a penalty. Defense and evasion, that also works for me. Like, what are we really going to be looking for? I, I guess I'm not super certain. I'm not super certain. But we're trying to min-max, not putting down the forests. I, I didn't even get around to explaining what exactly I, uh, I'm doing here. <laughs> Uh, with the, the, the river. But I can explain. I can explain. First of all, I will try and branch out the suburbs up here. So that we can, uh, we can put it right there. Um, so if we put down this here. This is actually, apparently, you wouldn't think that it would work this way, but it does. It gets duplicated by this and by this. So therefore, it brings this one up to, like, if it, cause it's, this one's gonna be surrounded here, here, and here. It brings it up to 12, somehow. 
Uh, I, I, I guess you would think so. Two doubling to four, doubling to eight, doubling again, you would think it would be to 16, but nope. But whatever, that's okay. Ones that are going to be right, uh, where is it? This one is going to be surrounded eventually in all four sides, bringing it up to 16% attack speed. Just from one single tile is pretty crazy. Uh, okay. Do we want to put a cemetery here? We'll have to deal with ranged units as a result of it. No. We'll bring that on. Because if we put these all right here, it's going to be kind of annoying. Yes, this is true. It's going to be slightly annoying. However, we should be able to... Another Oblivion? Maybe we do want to summon the boss. Another outpost! No! Stop it! Stop! There, we, we take those. We take those. So we are one, two, three, four, five. So we go down. We go down here. We go all the way to the corner. We loop back up around. Apparently, we are going to have to run past these here. Uh, which I think summons a different type of enemy that we have not really fought yet. So, I mean, I'm kind of cool with that. If the enemy is really, really tough, it's going to be a problem, of course, but... We'll cross that bridge quite literally when we come to it. All right, so we could end up getting a ghost, and we would actually kind of like getting a ghost. Sure. Quite a bit more HP. Don't mind if it do. Another river. Don't mind if it do. More forests. Okay, so what do we got? We got five. We got defense 17. Defense invasion. And sure. Okie doke. Damage counter vampirism. I, I like the stats well enough on ours. So we have three helpers in this tile, and I believe the next tile we will have zero. But it's okay. If we want any tiles to have helpers on them, uh, we would want it to be thank the heavens. Real talk. Wait. we have it here this then this tile is going to be very terrifying but uh devours enemies that have less than 15 percent le health left okay so i'm not like uh, don't get me wrong i don't love this however it its purpose is twofold one it's going to be in a spot where we're going to get assistance uh quite quite easily two it's going to be in a tile that's affected by a blood grove, so we will be able to KO that uh, the living armor quicker because he's a bit of a he's a bit of a jerk. I mean, we could put it in a spot where. Uh... Okay, finally got another thicket. Boink. We put it in a spot where uh, we he would be spawned onto a village or something, I suppose. But alas, alas, NBD, another bookery. All right, well, that's good. So we are totally putting down another battlefield because these can't be converted. That was kind of my thought process there. They can't be converted. Yes, ghosts can spawn, but we kind of want ghosts to spawn is the, uh, the, the real thing there. All right, planning. So we have another ruin. Eh. So we are going to put a thicket there. So we got this tile sorted, so we are missing one, two. There's, there's only two slots that are not covered up for this here. That's fine. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We could put down a ruin if I felt like it. Another thicket. Good stuff. Another river. Also good stuff. There we are. Interesting. Wow, that's pretty early. Uh, and then we, of course, yes, we lose our... Uh, it's not that early. It's loop five. I don't know why I even say it's early at that point. Uh, planning. Ooh. That actually worked out pretty well.
Uh, all right, so. We staircase it here. The Smith's Forge is out here, which is pretty good. Also, wait. Ah, this is the bookery, not the armory. What am I talking about? This is like half what I wanted to do. Uh... Shoot. I certainly want it before the boss. I mean, I'm going to want to oblivion this and put a village down anyways, I think. I think. <laughs> Hold on here. So we do get an archer. Oh, we got unlucky. Oh, we got so unlucky. Oh, that sucks. Um, That seems better for us right now. Attack speed counter evasion. That seems maybe fine. Uh, Okay. I I think we should beat this A-OK. -okay. Oh my god, the damage. Of the ranged pool back there. So we lose our, all of our evasion here. We're going to be okay. We're not going to lose a life even. However, it was uh, certainly... It, it certainly shows a little bit of problems in our processing here. We're going to want to uh, probably, in the future, Oblivion this. I would say that is likely going to end up being a very good idea. What on earth was that sound? So we got another suburb, got another forest, all of that. Bunch of garbage, bunch of garbage. He heads down. Yet another forest. Okay, max HP down. We get regen, evasion, vampirism. I mean, vampirism is a good tool for us. Like, this is... This is facts. Damage to all up. Counter. Regen. Nah. All right, I'm going to want to put down this village, but the truth is, like, I'm going to really, really wish that I get a... Um, a good old oblivion before then. Attack speed regen vampires. That's that's amazing. That is amazing for us. Um, it's gonna be a little bit jank because I think that there's a max cap, but now we shouldn't have to deal with the uh, the risk of that. Guy. Not in that spot, at the very least. Like, I'm going to want to put down uh, one here as well, but, you know, uh, we will cross that bridge once again when we come through it. We've got a blood grove. And I would love to put it here. But yeah, we're going to need an oblivion and a village. <laughs> Uh, and the thing is, we're going to spawn in um, the, the forest village as well that we're going to want to get rid of. Man, we got so many oblivions, but at, honestly, pretty bad times. Pretty bad times. Uh, like, because I want to put down ruins and blood grove. That seems really ideal. You know what? I'll put down the ruins right now. Oh, you blessed creature. I think that this is important. I think that's important. We'll we'll get the we'll get the village we need. There's another bookery, nice. Uh Thicket, good. And we have an Oblivion. It's going to get bookery uh, very, very quickly here, actually. 
So should we oblivion this now? I honestly probably not, right? And we could oblivion this. Why would we? I don't necessarily care one way or the other if it's there. It's just, it's, yeah, it's an oblivion, so I'm like, in my heart, I don't want it, uh, to cause us some problems, but. If we don't kill this, we will probably, like, knowing my luck, we will just end up with a, uh, a skeleton archer on the boss again. Like, we're gonna get the bad timing. The, the poor timing on it, and it's gonna mess us up once more. Oof. Spooky. Oh, that's good. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff indeed. Get another suburb. Get another suburb. Ooh, what's this? Uh, awesome. Yeah, we're getting vampirism out the wazoo now. We're going to reach our attack speed limit. The fact that we got the quest on him. I mean, it's... This is an annoying fight to have it happen on, but alas, alas, it's okay. Uh, I feel like this is good to get this early. Could be totally, totally wrong. Okay. I'm with it, I'm with it. Quite a bit more HP. 22% evasion is super tempting. Okay. This is working all right. It's working all right. Uh, ruins. <laughs> Hmm. Up here, maybe? Like, we need souls, you know? They, they will give us souls. Yeah. They will give us souls. It's a little goofy. This whole scenario is, is certainly a little goofy. Yet another suburb. Yet another river. I need more thickets. I need more thickets. We're also getting suburb central down there, which is pretty nice. And we're also getting all kinds of battlefields set up here. This is loop seven, though. Th that's the. This is the big concern. Yeah, it's, it's loop seven. Uh, we are going to need a village there. <laughs> That's not quite related, but it is very true. So these are certainly going to get eaten, and we're going to have to deal with a blood golem, which we might not be able to handle. Yeah, this is... This is not that bad. Oh, it's actually really easy because he's in the range. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, we don't even... We didn't even need to put a village there. I mean... Not that we have yet, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, defense, magic damage, damage to all defense. It's good. We take that instead. We take that instead. I know it's a kind of a downgrade. Uh, I feel like battering ram is really nice. If we could get the chance to stun on hit too, that one is very, very good for us. It's tempting. Defense counter regen. Defense counter regen. Just damage revent regen. Or it's not. It's not defense. It's damage. Uh, I think we're good on this stuff. I think it's fine. Loot out the wazoo. Damage all counter. Max HP up by a lot, and then damage all nine. I'm gonna say fine. 
Another suburb. Suburb Central. Damage and our defense. I mean, wow, the HP, the HP downgrade there is is uh is big, is big huge. Did we get another revive? We did. All right, we have not used it yet, anyways. So, okay, we finally got an actual thicket. That one is getting duplicated, 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 duplicated. This one gives us sixteen percent. Look at we're seventy five percent attack speed, and this is how many. Uh, this is how many freaking thickets we have down. It's wild. Uh, oh my god, we're geniuses! We also counteracted the, uh, the, the, the bandit villages. We ate that summon. We ate that summon because there's nowhere for it to be. So therefore, um, the next one we put down, we can put down free as well. And won't have to worry about the bandit summons. It's really good. All right, this one will end up being another 16. So yeah, that's this is currently my biggest concern uh, of the run for now. So if we could get that ditched, I would be pretty uh, pretty jazzed. Right. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with the worm certainly is annoying. Another thicket. So yeah, this is where it's maybe like a little, a little bit goofy. Okay. We're at a hundred percent attack speed effectively right now. Uh, that is awesome. Yep, yep. We're up to the 30. We're actually going to just kind of like... Putting it on the corners... Yeah, because we can't go above 30. It's really just kind of a waste, isn't it? Oh my god, look at all these dang loot chests here. It's amazing. And then we'll always have the, uh, the defense left over for now. Double chests. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Uh, eh. Defense, defense, counter. That's so nice. It's so nice! We blitz this. Another level up to... Uh, I want different traits. Full hand of oblivion. Hold up. When we have bookery and the card that we really want to get rid of, I feel like a full hand of oblivion is actually super good for us. Huge fingers crossed that as soon as we get the river, the, the bridge, uh, we can put it up here. Otherwise, this whole thing is screwed, basically. All right, we've summoned the boss. I'm actually worried about it because we just keep on getting hard countered by this boss. Like, super, super routinely. Super routinely, we are getting destroyed by them. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Got another bookery. I, I want to. I like putting it on a corner of two. I know we could put it in a spot, uh, like a three spot, but I just. It's a little spooky. All right, fingers crossed. Nice. Reed spawns a fishman every three days. Of course it does. Of course it does. All right. Uh, so. Thickets. So then this will go up. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then it turns here. All right. 
We have an outpost. We have two Oblivions and an outpost. If we wanted, we could... Ah. I don't think it's worth... I don't think it's worth... I think we're done with the Oblivion... Or with the outposts. Weird. Weird. I'm definitely... I'm, I'm excited to see the Fishmen. Even if they're... They end up being really, really tough. I'm super excited to see it. Another village. So this next village would spawn a bandit camp. Whether or not we care, I guess, is like the big issue. Damage to all... Alright, just build with the boss in mind because I think that we might be semi-screwed. I actually think we have the chance to be semi-destroyed. Uh, like a chest piece would be better. Could be better. Defense. Magic damage and evasion. 684, 723. Uh, I feel like this is better for now. Suburb again. <laughs> I don't mind that. One bit. I don't care about damage to all. Regen, attack speed, and vampirism are all like really, really nice stats for us for the boss fight. At magic damage 11. You know what? I'm doing it. Pure, pure damage. Why not? Oh, that's tempting. Oh, that's really tempting. Ah, that's really tempting. Okay, so magic damage counter, regen, defense up. Uh, it's still up. Yeah, I, I actually, I'm cool with that. Oy vey. I've got my concerns. <laughs> uh, okay. No. Yes. Right? Yes. Oh, please do not kill the run. We have a archer, don't we? You gotta be kidding me. We always get the archer. We always get the freaking archer. We have so many revive. Are you absolutely joking? The archer destroys everything. This is so. I'm so. I am so sick of this. I am so sick of this, man. I am unbelievably sick of getting hard countered by this boss fight with this character. It's actually <laughs> to the point of supreme frustration and unfun. Oh my god. Extra revive doesn't matter, man. Look how much damage we take. Everyone keeps saying... If you want a chance, you got to take the Ancestral Crypt. We take the Ancestral Crypt, we have no health. It's like, it's it's really, it's super demoralizing. And like, frankly, it, it is it is it is frustration to the extreme. I, it is not, I, like, I, to the point where it doesn't sound fun to do that anymore. Uh, like, can we, can we do it? Yes. We'll have to bring something else. Clearly, clearly, uh, we needed to kill the cemetery. Like, I just, that was just really sucky, sucky RNG on both fights to have that guy shooting at us from a range. Uh, it wouldn't have mattered, I don't think. I think we still would have died because we just, because of truly how, how hard counter we got there. I, I think that you need an oasis for that as the warrior... I don't know, like, th this is always what gets me sometimes with, like, later game stu uh, stuff in turn-based or strategy or, or deck builder type uh, type roguelikes, how the unfortunate truth with increasing difficulty in a game like this is that there is a, there's a, it's, this is a solved game, you know, this is a solved game. Could I go and, could I Google exactly everything I need to do to win easily with this character on this difficulty. I could do that. I could go and I could Google it. 
or I could sit here and I could min max everything and try and figure it out like I've been trying to do I, I you know but how how many uh, resources are we gonna need to get before it becomes something that is uh, easier to do it remains to be seen but quite frankly I don't know how much interest I actually even have in just beating this with this character so that I can say that I've done it with this character like I I don't know I, I don't know how much interest I have in doing that because of how like could I grind could I grind for hours sure of course I could could I google exactly what I need to do uh, of course I could and maybe I will maybe that's what I'll do maybe so that we can have some kind of closure I'll just google the answer basically so that we don't have to sit and grind and hell maybe there is no, no clear answer maybe the answer is play the necromancer or grind uh and if that's that's the case then i don't want to i don't want to do that that that's just what i'm saying that right now if that's if the answer is either a play the net just play the necromancer forehead or just grind forehead i i do not like those answers for me for now I do not find the, the the prospect of grinding for the sake of the video. Like, I, I'm not going to grind off camera. That is just a fact. I don't have time for that. I don't find it interesting. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, what else do we have here? We could upgrade something. Is there... Upgrade the hero's strength. What do we need for that? 19 metal. Part of that sound is terrible to listen to, and part of it is super, super satisfying. Uh, cool deal, dude. So there we go. Fine, fine. 20 more times the training session is over. You're ahead of the schedule, hero. We have a schedule, but I thought that we were just training till I dropped dead. Ah, good joke. There's a schedule. You're just usually unconscious when I talk about it. Uh, wow, there's yet another, huh? Uh, what does this take? Uh, 300. I mean, we could make those. Uh, but yeah, whatever. I, you know, what I'll probably do is play the thief tomorrow because I just don't, I don't know. It's just not, it's, it, it, it kind of feels like banging my head against the wall for the sake of banging my head against the wall. Uh, otherwise, right? Like people are going to stop watching. People are already starting to stop watching. Cause you know, like we, we saw the, we effectively saw the end credits. So therefore, you know, a lot of people are, are outy. They're like, oh, cool. Saw the end. Goodbye. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, I can't imagine anybody would, like, the, the amount of people who would want to stick around for a grind session would be, be too high. So, that being said, let's do a quick grind session because the video would otherwise be over in 30 minutes, which is also the problem with this scenario, you know? So, uh, let's play as the thief. Let's try out, let's try out some different stuff here. Uh, Smith's Forge isn't really that bad. I yeah, we're gonna switch to that. Act two there. I kind of like the idea of, of hmm. Let's tr let's try some burnt forest mixed with the forest mixed with that river strategy. I think that sounds kind of fun. Uh, let's bring in the. Bringing the zero milestone, that was kind of fun, especially with the spider cocoon. I think we could have some fun with that, with this character. Outpost is a must take with this character. It's super, super easy. Uh, Battlefield is not really that interesting with this character. Uh, like, what, what do I, what do I think that this game would would benefit from the most in future updates? I, like, people say, you know, new new chapters, everything like that. It's like, how much would that really change? Not that much. Like, new bosses, new bosses, cool. Yes, I know they're secret bosses. I don't know if I'm interested in doing them. Uh, they, they seem like they take a lot of, like, weird weird styles of, uh, of play that... I, and grinding that there's almost no point to, to do that either. So, uh, what do I think would benefit from? I think new... Just continuing to add more cards. I, I think that that... Like, a new class, cool. I, I, I like the idea of it. I don't think it's going to change the game to an extraordinary degree it, it, like it's cer certainly big but i think just more cards is certainly the biggest way to change things uh speaking of what the hell do i want because i don't really want any of this if i don't want any of it i guess we bring those because it's uh it's a quick two bopper effectively grab the 
the bookery, the river, the forest, all that uh, seems good. In fact, I might even bring in the beacon. If we're going to be burning some of our forests, I think we can justify bringing in the beacon as well. All right, zero milestone. We want it kind of by, oh, I mean, we want to buy this here. I should have brought the, I should have brought the vampire. That's the one thing I didn't bring. I definitely like bringing the vampire when I have this character. I find it quite good, quite good. But I, uh, yeah, I definitely, I want to try out the, uh, I gotta hold on, uh, I wanna open that back up. I wanna try out the pre-min-maxed for me, uh, grid with, with a little bit more of the, uh, the burnt forest in mind. I think that could be very, very interesting. It's certainly a, a fun idea. So we have our thickets. We could put that down already, which we put that down in spot four. See, like, here's the thing. Could I go on Google and just we just get grids, grid layouts of exactly how every square of the map should be laid out? Yes, we could. Do I find that fun? No. <laughs> Do you find that fun? Maybe. Can you totally just get the game yourself or play the game yourself and do it your your way? Absolutely. And I say uh, absolutely more power to you. Uh, evasion bonus. Cool. Absolutely more power to you if that is uh, is how, what you want to do. I got no problems with the, you wanting to do that. <laughs> uh, all right. So. Sure. I'll want to put that down by the boss, too. Speaking of. Speaking of. We'll do that there. With our base little forest, we got our storm temple. So how are we, we going to do this best? It's hard to say. If we burn, what happens if we burn this forest? It does make it a hungry grove. Devours enemies that have less than 20% HP, but also occasionally damage the hero for 11. That might be something we want to, uh, to utilize as well. Got our suburbs there. We could try that out on the, the boss. I feel like the amount of damage that it uh, that it gives you is probably probably worth worth the penalty, right? Especially if you kill quick, like if, you, if you're a character, especially like the rogue or something, where you're you're very very fast. Especially especially if you can dodge it. I don't know if you can. Uh, all right. Got our zero milestone out. I want a spider cocoon here. I want a spider cocoon indeed. Okay. Let's see, I've got a twenty percent. Oh, yeah, we're getting... I forgot, we get zapped, too. We do have to deal with that as long as it's on the road. We won't be able to burn that many doing this strategy like this unless we put one down in a really weird spot. Or we sacrifice one of the... Uh, one of the tiles there uh, for a for a storm temple, which it might be in our best interest. In fact, I, I see a tile that I think might be good for it. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There we go. Thank you very much. There we go. Thank you very much. Put down the river. Let's go. Let's go. Just keep it on. Keep it on moving there. Evasion and attack speed. Like, we do actually want attack speed on our equipment now. Oops. At the current moment, that is actually pretty decent to get still. Because we are not going to have the, the traditional max cap we have been having. Okay. But yeah, I certainly want to see what like a mix of this magic damage and attack speed looks like. I think that that could be really fun. 
Oops, I did not get that out. Whatever. Whatever. Is a burnt forest a burnt forest no matter what? Ah! Burn forest is a burn forest no matter what. It is always 0.5. I see you. I see you. I see you. That does, uh, that changes things a bit, doesn't it? That ends up giving us a spot where we can put this here. That means we can put down, uh, non thickets. We don't have to worry too much. Which is good. That should speed up our process for sure. Ooh, ew. Okay. Hmm. Uninterested in most of this stuff, if I'm gonna be real. Bookery. Bookery, bookery, bookery. Alright. Bookery is when my, uh, my, my run becomes way more fun. For sure. Oh boy, we are we're doing some one shotting. Wait. We go three deep four deep? Yeah, we go four deep. This is where I think we should put another storm temple. Right here, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, right there. I think it's gonna be a good spot. Boom, 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 boom. So anything that's going to be in that radius of this or or this, we might as well just put down. Might as well just put down. All right, another bookery. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's, oh, it's another beacon. It's another beacon. Enjoy putting that down there. Okay. Uh. That one's a thicket. We might as well leave it, I guess. We don't know when we're going to get our next uh, burn em up tool. We don't know. We don't know. It's right then. That's when we get it. All right. This is pretty neat. Evasion, crit chance. What are we looking for? Yeah, we do want attack speed. We do. We do, we do, we do. Um, it's a little painful, actually. Certainly a little painful. Oh, speaking of a little painful. This is. Shall I... Beacon. Let's do it. A little overlap there, but it shouldn't matter. Or it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't help. It doesn't hurt either. I don't think. Booker he gives us nothing. We're pretty. Uh, we're pretty shy on our rivers here. Yeah, that guy's gonna be a little bit of a hassle. Certainly. I think we can put. I think we can put one here. One, two, three. Yeah, we can put one there too. It's nice to kind of just have our grid out, you know? Uh, outposts, they can go anywhere. There is no real problem. I don't know why we put it here of all places, though. Not a problem. All right, well, actually, yeah, not being as uh, attack speed focused and being focused on doing a little bit more actual damage damage. It's pretty solid. We do multi-attack like that. Do, do we still apply our magic damage? Because if so, that's a really good situation to be in. That'd be a really good spot to be in. Do, do, do. 
Wario's just like the worst <laughs> character. Man, I, like I know it's 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 probably like as it should be to an extent, you know. You want the other characters to be cooler and more uh, it's more special. They're just more fun. They're just more fun. By like quite a big margin, I'd say. That is a lot of HP. I can't, can't really turn that up. Alright. So we got... One, two... Alright, we're gonna want to make sure we burn that one, too. That one's a... That's a big one. Burn them if you got them. We are hitting pretty hard here. Yeah, we actually... Funny enough, we actually kind of counter those guys pretty hard. Uh, you want to hit them with really hard, slow attacks. That being said, this is Act 2, so nothing really matters. Like, what's the sweet spot for difficulty for right now with uh, non... non-necromancer characters? Probably Act 3, but... Like, I'm not... I don't know. It takes too long to do a second run. Damage to all. Eh, we just rock it. Forest. Another one that we should make sure to uh, make sure to burn. Not very realistic to assume we will, though. Because that's a, still, it's a 16 bopper. One, two, three. We never even fought a fish man. I wanted to fight it. I wanted to fight him too. Uh, what do we kill? I don't know if we're gonna... Do I care about killing something? Is that our first village? That's our first village. Yeah, they're, they're not that big of a deal. If, if, when we start to fight more than one, it might be kind of annoying, but right now it's fine. Give me a card. Oh, well. Okay. No! That's... <laughs> I wasn't quick enough on the pause. That's actually fine, though. Uh, this doesn't get burnt. It's fine, though. Did I jank that? I think I might have janked that. I janked that. One, two, three. Did I jank this too? One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two. Wait, no, no. Wait, what? One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. S see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is it, it's invigorating content to just sit there and w watch somebody read, <laughs> watch somebody read a freaking chart, watch somebody read a chart off screen, so that they uh, so that they can w win more more effectively. Uh, it's fun fun for some, fun for some. Sure. Do, 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 do. I want some attack uh, speed to go with my magic damage. No, sure, we'll take that. Do I care to put out? Oop, 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 oop. Nah. Goodbye, mister. We're moving too fast. The character runs so fast in the beacon range. All right. It is kind of neat to build out the trees and then see the uh, oh, the spot for like where the river's going to go fill out. It's kind of fun to look at. We do lots of damage. This is true. We just keep getting suburbs, so I keep having no cards to, to sacrifice, because, like, 
I, I don't know. What can I say? I like the I like the suburbs. I'm a sucker for the suburbs. But maybe we uh, maybe we ditch him. Maybe we ditch him. Yeah, we got another one of them villages. And give us a super duped. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But like we have a. It's just like a nice. A nice combination of some attack speed and some magic damage. That's like. That's the whole idea of the run here right now. That's that's just like. That's just my idea. That's it. It's the whole shebang. All right. I like seeing us one-shot stuff at really fast speeds. We are still at 120% attack speed. It's not that we it's not like we're attacking slow. We certainly aren't attacking slow. Eh. Boink, boink. Oh, you jerk. Okay. I mean we're shredding. We're shredding. We're putting in that work. I feel like it's going to work pretty well against the uh, the boss, too, is the thing. I think. Because, like, the boss gets semi-hard countered by what? I mean, by attack speed, I guess? Okay, so it comes out right there. Down. Boop, boop. We'll actually do this so that we get that one duped and then we uh, go up there. Boop, 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 like that. Staircase it up after. Not that that's going to even be relevant. We're not going to have... <laughs> it's, it's just... It's not going to be relevant. One, two... Are you, is there any spot that is spider-free? There is no spot that's spider-free. For up there, so we might as well just start right there. Yeah, that, that's the most exciting thing I'm seeing there, is that that guy gets hard counted too. It's kind of fun. Uh... Eh. Eh. Jank up our ability to uh, get that correct there. Another full hand of Oblivion. Reflect the range shot. I... I don't know. Give me this for my bookery. Give it me. Give it to me. Shall bookery it more so I can fill out my river. Fill out thine river. Thine outpost as well. Put this here so we literally get the one extra tile. That seems pretty stupid, though. I think we're done with those. I think we're done with those. Okay. Very nice. Defense 11. I mean, evasion 22% is really, really good. Hard to pass up. 
Just a very large amount of damage there. Oh my god. Level 16. Jeez. Do we one shot now? Okay. Cool. I feel like we just stop on these, right? Like, what are we at? We're at 107. It's fine. We just let them, uh, let them cycle to try and get, yeah, that's what I was going to say. To try and basically just get storm temples. It's really about it. So we're down to 90% attack speed. Basically, basically nothing. He says in hopefully obvious jest. Uh, we can stop with our... Uh, we can stop with our villages as well, I'd say. The thickets, I guess we can keep going with for a second. Er, maybe a sec maybe a full second is about it. I, I basically just want rivers right now, right? Like that's just that's just the facts. We just want lots of rivers to make the funny happen. Th thickets are arguably useful though. Put them in range of that stuff. Let's get them boint. Oh, shoot. We turned that into a no longer hungry grove. 40% evasion. You know what? Screw it. Screw you, boss. Boss fool. Sure. Let's fight. Uh, let's uh, let's get zapped on the boss. Whatever. The hell ever. Sure. Screw me, okay? Just get me. Just light light me up, man. A little slow on that, but oh, we still oh we still got bookery. Cool. Bring it. Bring it. I want vengeance. That should give us. Yep. 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 I don't think these stack, but hey, I'm not gonna stay. I ain't staying. So yeah, it's less than 20%. All creatures attacks me up by two. Every five seconds. Okay. All right. As far as creatures. Does that include us too? Hold on. That's a scary concept. Get bodied, fool. Get bodied, fool. Oh, it feels good to see them get absolutely cream crackered after uh, they beat us, you know? It just feels great. It feels great to just run through. Like, that's really what that second loop is always about. It's just about getting in there and just making myself feel better. <laughs> that's all it's about. What do we need for this? So much. To get 4% to the hero's strength. Boom, boom, boom. Or we could upgrade this to get more item slots. I don't really care that much about that. Uh, I mean, a full extra, yeah, just like an extra item slot like that is a little bit more tempting. Either way, it's something I'll, I'll just do off camera. But alas, alas, uh, we're probably almost done here with Loop Hero, I really got to say. I, I Could I sit here and grind and grind and grind and grind and grind and grind and grind, grind yes i could but i as mentioned prior i got my satisfaction already with the with beating the game i really did that's like the big thing i wanted to do we could continue on with the old the old grind and uh we'll, i'll probably give a the act four shot with like the thief tomorrow uh but other than that uh maybe maybe we'll look at the secret bosses but uh i've been informed that like will i can i see them I could probably find a way to see one of them, but again, grinding is required to beat them. 
uh, basically. So I don't know if that's something that we're going to really expect to see. So I'm just trying to temper expectations in that regard. But alas, that is going to do it for today. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.